Mr. Salalima, uh, do you see the importance of ICTs in meeting the challenges of climate change? Uh, yes, uh, very well. And uh, in my own perspective, I'd like to view uh, ICT vis-a-vis -vis climate change from the legal, from the technical or technological, and from the organizational perspective. And uh, with this, I think we can in some ways uh, mitigate and adapt to climate change. Legal in the sense that uh, by us being made aware and being given information about climate change, it facilitates us being able to pass the necessary laws or regulations to mitigate the effects or otherwise adapt to climate change. And technologically, because ICT provides us with the instruments to uh, early detect and otherwise uh, for being warned about climate changes and for us to make anticipatory measures by way perhaps of mitigating the risks, the effects attendant to climate changes. How is the Philippines using ICTs to strengthen its early warning capacity? Well, uh, for one, we are still on the development stage and we are putting some instrumenta in, in, instrumentations by way of uh, monitoring climate change. And uh, on this occasion, I personally would like to thank uh, ITU on behalf of the Philippine delegation and the Philippine government for, in fact, funding a pilot project in Catanduanes. Catanduanes is a small province in uh, Luzon, which is often visited by typhoon. And with that funding, uh, we are now at the closing stage of constructing the monitoring devices. And we most gratefully acknowledge our sincere gratitude to ITU. By this, we may be able to, in, in some ways, uh, anticipate cyclones because it is more often ravaged by typhoon year-round. And in fact, uh, only this week, two weeks ago, we have a lot of typhoons ongoing in Katanduanis. is always badly hit. So for those monitoring devices, we thank ITU. And climate change is an issue that is uh, focused on in the Philippines? Uh, yes, yes. In fact, uh, we have this legislation and it was just uh, recently approved. We have created the so-called Climate Change Commission with no less than our president as uh, the one in charge. And uh, a lot of uh, plans and programs are being uh, made uh, for, uh, towards uh, addressing climate change. Will the Philippines push ICTs as a solution in the Copenhagen uh, meeting next month in December. That is for the Philippine government to uh, to uh, to appreciate. That is perhaps for the Philippine delegation and the foreign affairs to do appreciate. But I will uh, perhaps uh, ask them to study the possible agenda at the Copenhagen uh, matter so we can acti acti uh, participate actively. But again, I am with the private sector, often asked by the government to uh, as a resource person to talk about legal matters and some uh, non-legal matters. And uh, I hope that in that limited way, I can correlate uh, with our government in informing them about these oncoming, oncoming Copenhagen uh, meetings. Salamat, uh, Mr. Salamat. Uh, Maraming salamat po. Okay.